For this problem, it's useful to remember the formula for the period of an oscillation with respect to the spring constant, which is what we want to find. That formula states that the period, t, is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the mass of the bob of the oscillation divided by the stiffness, or the spring constant. k is what we want to solve for, so let's algebraically rewrite this equation to solve for t. So first we're going to get this out of the square root by squaring both sides of the equation. So we just take both sides of this whole thing and square it. So we end up with t squared is equal to 2 squared is 4 times pi squared times the mass divided by the spring constant. Now we'll just do some multiplication and division. So we multiply both sides of the equation by k to get that onto both sides of the equation. And then divide both sides by t squared so that we just have k on the left side. Just some basic algebra. That'll tell us that k is equal to 4 pi squared multiplied by the mass divided by the period squared. Now the mass is just represented in this problem by the child's mass, and the period is, remember, period is however long it takes for one cycle to complete. So if the problem tells us that the kid bounces every two seconds, then the period is two seconds. So into a calculator, we're going to put in 4 pi squared, multiplied by 32 kilograms for the mass, divided by two seconds squared for the period. If you put this into a calculator, then we find a spring constant of 320 newtons per meter. And so that is our answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.